Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to do a really fun and chatty, relaxed little get ready with me holiday themed and inspired by the beautiful and lovely Adele. I'm gonna tell you all about my inspiration and of course show you how I got this look later but first I want to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor because this video is very kindly sponsored by glassesusa.com which is an online eyewear brand where I get pretty much all of my eyeglasses from. GlassesUSA.com offers glasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off of retail price by cutting out the middleman so that you can shop for all of your eyewear needs at affordable prices from the comfort of your own home. They offer over 9,000 different styles, like they have something for everyone there and um, they feature a bunch of in-house brands, which are honestly actually my favorite, but they also carry loads of designer brands such as, for example, Ray-Ban, which I'm going to tell you a little bit more about in a bit. You can order almost all glasses with prescription and or blue light blocking lenses. Mine are blue light blocking right here, which I love. I have dubbed these my new editing glasses. <laughs> But you can get a complete pair of eyeglasses starting at just $30, including prescription lenses, which is a fantastic opportunity, if you ask me, to start wearing glasses as a fashion accessory and maybe get several different frames for several different styles of clothing that you like to wear. They have free shipping and returns and a 100% money back guarantee. Absolutely worth it if you're looking for some new frames, in my opinion. But as I mentioned, they carry Ray-Ban and they actually have a really fun, exclusive collaboration with Ray-Ban. And GlassesUSA.com have one of their Ray-Ban frames in an exclusive color. And I have it here in a time capsule. <laughs> so let's open it together. So we have an arcade ticket. It seems we're traveling back to a 1986 arcade. The Walkman. <laughs> The glasses, of course, a cassette. This is really fun. What's inside? Oh, oh, I think these are glass cleaning cloths. Arcade themed glass cleaning. I love this. This is so cute. This one has cassettes and this one has start new game. I love this. This is adorable. And then a bunch of Polaroid photos. Oh, and it has information about it on the back. So it's the Ray-Ban Clubmaster. Okay, let's take a look at the actual frames. This is the exclusive GlassesUSA.com and Ray-Ban Clubmaster in silver and grey. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe I need to step away from all my gold frames and get some silver. I actually really love this. Love this. So aside from the exclusive Clubmaster, which I will have a link to in the description box, that takes you straight to this one, as well as a link that takes you to their website. So I have two other Ray-Ban frames and you will get this experience, this time capsule with any purchase of Ray-Ban frames. So I have this bronze and brown pair here that is round, a little bit more traditionally my style. And I have a pair of sunglasses, Ray-Ban 2, nice slightly oversized pair that is absolutely gorgeous as well. Nice elegant thin temples here, absolutely love this. And the glasses I'm wearing today are actually by one of their in-house brands and that is this frame and you've seen me wearing this. I adopted this one straight away after it arrived. Definitely be sure to check out glassesusa.com and their collaboration with Ray-Ban um, or the other stuff that they have on the website because again they have loads. There is a link in the description box, definitely be sure to check that out. Thank you so much glassesusa.com and now to the get ready with me. So Adele, yes, she is everywhere and I love it. <laughs> I mean, this is how you do a comeback. I just, I'm all over this. I adore her. So I thought for my holiday get ready with me, I would do a look inspired by Adele's iconic look. Of course, it's not going to be a direct recreation because I look nothing like Adele and I don't really want that. I just want to capture the vibes. So that is what we're doing today and we're going to start with the hair. I'm going to just put my hair up in curls so that I can set while I'm doing my makeup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is spray some heat protector in my hair to get it ready for heat styling. And then I'm gonna go straight over with a volumizing mousse. One of the most iconic things about Adele's look is her big hair. 
and I absolutely adore that. So we'll just see how far I can get in approaching that with my own natural hair. Now, while that is drying for a bit, I'm gonna turn on my curling iron here. And I have a fairly large sized barrel, bigger than I would normally use for my vintage looks, but Adele has more of that kind of glamorous, modern, vintage inspired hair. So we're going for a slightly larger barrel, slightly larger wave. It's gonna give a bigger curl. Alrighty. So I am going to start from the top. And I'm gonna go straight into the most difficult section, which is the one that contains my bangs. So I'm gonna go about this in a bit of a weird way, but I'm basically gonna just twist my hair around the curling iron, which isn't how you would normally use it, but hey, it works, especially when you have loads of layers going on. And then when I let go, I'm gonna catch the hair, keep it rolled up, and I'm gonna pin it down with a duckbill clip so that I can set in the shape. I'm gonna move on to the section behind that. And I'm curling away from my face to again help with that volume because I'm already lifting the roots. And I'm gonna go around my entire head like this in sections about this big. I'm gonna do the same thing every time. So I'm gonna curl the hair away from my face. All right, I have curled my hair. Here's what it looks like now. And while I'm giving this a chance to dry, I can feel one of them coming off. Let me just reattach that. While I'm giving this a chance to set, let's move on to the makeup. Alrighty, makeup. So I am going to start with a base of foundation. I honestly think the Adele look is absolutely perfect for the holidays. It has that kind of classic that is like, you know, full on, full face. Fairly heavy makeup, well, no, it's very heavy makeup, but still looks kind of, I wouldn't say natural, but it's like, it's classic, you know, it's classy. And I do feel like this sort of makeup looks good on almost everyone. And I think the Adele look works a little bit better than maybe a classic vintage makeup because she has the nude lip rather than a maybe more classic red, which you will just destroy as soon as you start eating. And we need to be able to eat on Christmas, right? So I'm just applying some concealer. I think I'm gonna start with eyebrows here. So I have a tiny eyebrow pencil that I'm gonna use to just fill in my brows here and there. I always feel like eyebrows are really important in a full glam look. It really helps sell the whole look. <laughs> gonna take the spoolie, brush that out a little bit, make it look a bit more natural. And then I'm gonna go in with a brow pomade to just clean up the bottom a little bit, the lower edge. And then last thing for the brows is a setting gel. And I'm brushing my eyebrows up because that is what the kids do these days. <laughs> Guys, I am so out of touch with makeup trends. I realized this when I was doing my wedding makeup earlier this year and I realized I was using all the same products and techniques that were in, in like 2014 to 2016. <laughs> that is not how you do makeup anymore. You know what? I don't even care. As long as it gets the job done, I'm all good. So let's move on to the eyes, shall we? I have this matte neutral colored eyeshadow palette here that I think would be perfect. So I'm gonna start with the lightest color underneath my brow bone here. There's a fly buzzing around here because I bought a beautiful flower for Christmas at the garden center. I showed it in my vlog but it was so overwatered at the garden center that it died within a couple of days. I even put it on the windowsill to dry out, but it, it just, it drowned right away, which is ridiculous. And highly unprofessional of them. It has happened to me before with that garden center. They just overwater their plants. Why would you do that? Anyways, now I have flies <laughs> everywhere that came out of that plant. So I'm also applying that light color on my eyelid here. 
Alrighty, so now we are going to do that beautiful smoky kind of crease makeup um, or something that kind of looks like it. So let's see, I need a fluffy brush. And I'm going to take this pinky color, that's going to be the bottom one. So I'm going to start building a little bit of depth here by just swiping this across my crease. But I am going to focus it mostly along the outside. And then with a slightly denser brush, I'm going to go into this brown and I'm really going to start to build this. So I'm going to sweep across my crease, but it's more or less going to be a straight diagonal line. So that's how Adele's makeup usually sits. Like the darkest part of the makeup is more or less just a diagonal line across the outer part of her crease. So it doesn't come all the way down here and it doesn't reach all the way to here. Of course, we can blend it out a little bit. We want the main bulk of the color to be in that diagonal there. So now I'm just going to work on really blending this in. This is such a gorgeous style of makeup. Let me go back with that other brush and just blend this in a little bit more vigorously. I'm feeling good about this, but I do just want to warm up that inner corner a little bit. So I'm going to go back with some of that pinky pinky shade. I have to hold it up to the camera. Um, just right in the upper inner corner here. I have my trusty old naked palette here, speaking of expired makeup trends. And I am going to take, let's see, what should we do? Let's do Sin. I'm going to apply that just in the inner corner here for a tiny bit of that sparkle this is a holiday look after all alrighty so then on the lower lash line i'm just going to more or less mirror what's going on on top so i'm going to start with a little bit of this light color on the inner corner then a little bit of this pink Swipe that across the bottom lash, and then a little bit of that brown on the outer corner here. And now, of course, one of the most iconic things about Adele is the eyeliner. Now, I suggest whenever you do eyeliner and you're doing a look inspired by a celebrity, just go for the eyeliner that looks good with your eyes and your face shape. So I'm going to do a nice big wing. That works out. Now let's hope the other one does as well. Oh, getting these symmetricals, the worst. Good enough. <laughs> I say it's good enough. So um, another part of Adele's look that is fairly iconic is the false eyelashes, of course. I'm not going to do those because I am going to be wearing my glasses. I am just going to apply a little bit of mascara. Face makeup. Now that my foundation has dried, I'm ready to go in with bronzer. This is another important step in this look, bronzer. I'm going to use Benefit's Hoola here and a brush. And it's going to go everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to start uh, with the more subtle parts around the forehead. Basically around the entire contour of the face. Make sure it is blended in nicely. and. I'm going to go heavy on the cheekbones, like really, really, really get in there. Lots of bronzer. I'm going to take a different brush for that later, but for now, let's continue to draw a little double chin action here. <laughs> going to try and subtly disguise some of that. You know what? Actually, let's just use this brush. We need a heavier hand. Already, and I'm going to use this to really pack it on the cheekbones as well.
And now that I see this bronzer, I do feel like the eye look is maybe a little bit too cool. So I am actually going to go in with this brush and just take a little bit of that bronzer. Go over this crease area and that's just going to make it a little bit warmer, kind of a warmer shade of brown. It's going to be a subtle difference, but still good, I think. So then for blush, I'm going to take a little bit of this color right here. She's going to go right above that bronzer. I'm going to keep this fairly subtle because she mostly has bronzer and not that much blush on. Maybe let's darken that crease just a touch. I'm going to go take my Naked palette again at that smaller brush that I had. This one. And use Dark Horse, which is a slightly darker brown than the one in the other palette. Just going to go over that diagonal here. I'm not going to blend it out too much because I don't want it to take over everything, but just give that a little bit more depth and on the bottom lash line as well. Okay, that's good. I think that's good. Next up is lips and I am going to overdraw ever so slightly, just a tiny bit. I still want it to look natural, of course. Just a little bit fuller maybe than my real natural lips. And I think that is going to be it for the makeup. So let me push you back a little bit further and you can finish this hair. I'm going to start by taking all of these pins out of my hair again so that we can see what the curls did. And fingers crossed they are good and they hold because we are going to brush them out. But I think even if they come down a little or even a lot, that's okay. The classic Adele look is mostly just very voluminous and polished which honestly, I struggle with polished. You guys know that my hair is always frizzy, full of flyaways. <laughs> but we're gonna try to get those beautiful, nice kind of blown out looking waves. We have a head of bouncy hair, which is good. It's a good start. So now I am just going to gently comb this with a fairly wide toothed comb to loosen up those curls a little bit, but hopefully not Make them immediately frizz. Oh, that actually works really well. Ooh, can you see that? Oh, ooh. <laughs> there we go, that's a better camera angle. <laughs> so obviously I have about one tenth of Adele's amount of hair. She has a gorgeous full head of thick hair uh, and I have this, but it's the thought that counts, right? We're going for a look, not an exact copy trying to imitate a certain vibe. So what I am going to do now is back comb. I'm going to back comb the top of my hair here in sections so that we get it nice and big. And this is going to help give a lot of volume on top of my head, but also hold my bangs in a little bit so that they don't just pop out of my hairstyle. I'm going to gently smooth that over. What is up with those bangs? <laughs> oh. That's better. Okay, I think we need a little bit of backcombing on the sides as well. So let's do this side too. What I want is for my curls to combine into one big wave rather than a bunch of individual curls, which is actually working quite well. The bangs! <laughs> Why? What is going on? What's happening with my bangs? I think I just need to hairspray those back because the bangs are not cooperating today. Okay, now don't move or they are gonna pop out again. But I am actually quite happy with this hair. It does have that pretty kind of classic wave look. I am gonna try and maybe back on just a little bit with this big brush. 
this big comb to create a little bit more volume. Honestly, I think I should have probably worn extensions with this one, but that's okay. Alrighty guys, I think we've got it. A holiday look inspired by the amazing and gorgeous Adele. Ended up looking nothing like her, of course, because I look nothing like her, but the spirit is there. <laughs> And I do think this is a very gorgeous look, universally flattering, like I said. Um, I think this is going to look good on most people. And it is actually fairly easy to recreate once you know kind of the most important elements to capture the look. So yeah, here we are. Let me show you without the glasses. So you get a little bit of a better look at the makeup, but... I need to be able to see, and I do actually like it with the glasses as well. I like that the, these glasses are big enough to actually show the entire eye makeup and not cover it. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for lots more beauty, but also fashion, lifestyle, and sewing videos. I want to give another massive thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!